In this video, I'm going to show how to create a Power BI report specifically for Power BI report server. So please watch my previous videos to know about Power BI report server installation and configuration and also exploring the Power BI report server. So let us create a Power BI report. So I have installed Power BI desktop just optimized for Power BI report server. So once you installed, you can open the Power BI desktop as you can see on top uh, it is for October 2017 which is the latest version of Power BI report server. So click get data. We are going to create a report against SQL Server database. So click SQL Server database and pass your SQL Server name and database and you have to choose the data connectivity mode. So data connectivity mode is nothing but so on which mode you want to connect with your data sources. If you are choosing import then you are going to attach all your data within the report itself. So it is not going to uh, get the real time data. So it is going to be like a static data. You have to create a scheduled data refresh so that it is going to directly point with your data source. So you will be getting the dynamic data whenever the refresh is happened. Here direct query it is something like a, a direct connection from your report to the data sources. So whenever you open a report it is going to uh, send a request to your data sources and it is going to fetch the results and it is and it will be displayed in your report. So here I am going to choose direct query. Let's say my server name 01 and I am going to say as uh, blank for uh, database because it is optional. So on advanced option you are going to have some information like command timeout in minutes so you can specify so after how many minutes you want to get timeout message and here you can add a custom SQL statements. So if you are uh, trying to add custom SQL statements then you have to specify the database. So as of now I am going with the default options, uh, just passing only with the SQL server name and uh, choosing the direct query. Click OK and it is going to list out all the databases from your, from your uh, SQL server. So here you have to give OK. So once it is taken it is going to display all the uh, report server or sorry all the databases within the server that you have provided. And refresh here. Here I'm going to choose world uh, wide world importers. So I'm going to choose some informations like uh, customers and uh, some information about uh, sales. So just for a demo, I'll just go with only three tables. Just load. So once you loaded, you can see uh, these tables are uh, adding into the. Uh, report it is just a metadata so all the data will be received in your sql server uh, database all right if i go to relationship if you have a relationship in your database it will be automatically detected if not then you have to uh, create a manual uh, connection between the tables so let me see whether we have any uh, relations to this we have a customer id to customer id so you can directly drag and drop and it will join here you can see one too many or a single cross filter single direction so which i will be talking on uh, my next video so this is uh, something different that we have to understand more about uh, cross filter single direction or bidirectional right so i'll just go with the default option so here we have created and let me see whether we have any uh, direct link to the other table application cities so if not then we can skip that table we can try to use these two tables all right that's fine we can keep this table no problem and here uh, these are the table fields that you can see you can easily drag and drop uh, the fields so let us take a city name city name wise uh, we'll say some measures Let us take uh, total dry items. So we will see how many total dry items on a city. 
so here you can see so we have to add a legend latitude other things so it has pick up uh, the information from the location so based on that it has uh, automatically uh, taken the map so if you don't want to see the results in the map you can just change to any of the visuals like uh, let us choose uh, bar okay if we want to change the visuals we can click any of these visuals it will change the output automatically so here you can see these are the uh, cities you can see in x axis and the value total dry items also we can add the total chiller items so which you can see here so when we compare with uh, dry items chiller items are very less which you can see the difference color uh, like a green and the black or you can choose uh, some other visuals so like that you can create a report so once you are satisfied with the report output you can publish that into the power bi report server click file and go to save as and click power bi report server here we have to pass our power bi report server url so here uh, we can see uh, report server slash reports in our case it is like uh, so this is our uh, url uh, portal url click ok and uh, here you can see we don't have any of the reports since we are creating a first report so you can see this is like uh, total dry items by city so click ok and the file will be saved in our power bi report server so once you have saved you can easily access that in power bi web portal so which we will see in a minute ok it got saved you can see a success message you can go uh, to that specific report by clicking this take me there or uh, you can go to the portal and you can refresh this page and you should see the uh, published reports Let's click home here you can see power bi reports uh, within a bracket we have one report so if i click this it is going to uh, load the power bi report within the portal so we are going to see the same uh, visuals that we created in the desktop so if you want to uh, do any more changes on this report if you have the uh, local version of this report then it will be fine you can easily open that report in power bi desktop in case if you don't have a local version of this file uh, you in case uh, this report has been created by some other user they have deployed to the uh, portal and if you want to do any more changes on top of that report then you can see an option called edit in power bi desktop so you can click this option so it will open that report in a power bi desktop and you can easily do the changes and you can publish it again uh, to the power bi report server portal so here it is opening as you can see i have uh, two different uh, power bi desktop one is the one we created another one which we uh, uh, clicked in the portal so it is automatically opening the edit window in the power bi desktop so we can do whatever the changes that we want to do and once the changes has been done you can see a save option so it is going to directly save in the report server let us try to modify this as a column chart and we will save this so it is going to be saved in the uh, power bi report server so let us go here and uh, let us refresh this so we have to see the latest changes that we have done in the power bi desktop so other than this let me show the output okay other than this we have uh, a few other options in the uh, report we have file options you can print it from the uh, browser and we have view options so you can uh, set which option which uh, view type you want to set so fit to width and fit to page and fit to actual size so it is going to be changed and edit in power bi desktop which we have seen now explore here you can see see data show next, le next level 
so which is possible uh, with that see data option see the cards options by selecting the any of the report element in your report and uh, there is no drill down option so that's the reason you, you can't see uh, show next level draw drill up uh, drill down options i'll be uh, publishing the another set of videos to talk about uh, these options uh, show next level drill up drill down so please subscribe my channel and if we go to home you can see an option here uh, three dots if i click i can see another set of options open edit in power bi desktop download option move delete and manage if i go to manage you can see again the same uh, type of options on top of that we have a data source so it is going to show us uh, what is our data source which, which we used for our report and schedule refresh so schedule refresh is disabled because we have selected direct query or live connection so it is going to uh, directly connect from our sql server database and we have security so if you want to add um, or customize the security so customize the uh, roles for the uh, groups or users you can come the security option and you can easily customize that so if i click customize you can add uh, users and you can choose the uh, respective roles and you can assign that access to the users so so this is how you need to create a report and publish to the power bi report server thank you